In this tutorial, I'm going to attach PCB footprints to each of the components in our schematic. So it's important just to make sure that all the parts in our schematic have, a, have the correct PCB footprint. So this is going to be the footprint we want, not necessarily the one that is default with the part. So we'll go through our parts individually. But first, I'm going to add the custom PCB footprint that I created to this library. So this is a PCB library I created. I'm going to add it to the library. Okay. And I'm going to save my project. Okay. So I'm going to start by by assigning that footprint that I the custom footprint I created to the at mega 128. Now the Atmega 128 already has a footprint, actually already has several, um, that come with the, the library element. But I've created my own because I want to make one that's hand solderable. So I'm going to select the one that I created and add it. And I'll make sure that the one I created is specified here. Now I'll go through all the other components and make sure they have the correct footprint. So this one is a dip 8 and you can edit if you want to view it. That's about right. Um, let's check out the component the footprint for... Okay, that looks fine. Um, the headers should all have footprints that are fine. Um, these test points are my own custom part, and I already have included a... Ah, maybe I haven't. Alright, so I'll have to add that footprint. I have a bunch of choices. Alright, I'll go with the big one. I'll go with that one. 2850. Okay. So this is this is boring, but <laughs> um, it's important to go through and make sure that all of your components, all of your parts, have the correct footprint. Let's see. I think I have a custom footprint for this capacitor as well. And I have a custom footprint. Yeah, I have a custom footprint for these capacitors as well. Uh, actually, sorry about that. Th this, these are already cor correct. All right, let's check this. Okay, so all of our components look good. So we'll save. We will compile our project again. All check the messages. I'll check through the warnings, but I've already checked those and they're fine. And we are ready to create a PCB, which will be in the next tutorial.